Hello and thanks for watching. Uh, today I want to remove the head airbags which had both gone off in uh, my 2017 Porsche Megane. Uh, the task uh, looked as if it might need the headlining uh, removed um, and you'll see through this uh, coming video how I thought I needed to remove it and then eventually I concluded no I could actually uh, get, it, get the airbags removed without fully removing the headlining. I uh, did drop it um, particularly at the back to make it easier to get into uh, but it didn't need to fully come out although it, I did you know the video does show uh, part removal of it um, so I've obviously had a cup of tea now and a suitable uh, mug so let's get started having consulted the Porsche repair manual um, I can see what I need to do to take out the headlining um, I was trying to get out the airbag which had gone off the head airbags um, but it became apparent that the clips, there's one up here, one further back here, others um, just uh, right the way up each side, um, the clips are not going to be possible to get out without actually removing the hair, hair, uh, headlining. Um, to remove the headlining, there's various bits have to be done first, so obviously it's obviously detached here, it's actually detached from the A pillar and the B pillar, and that, so although it says the A, B, C and D pillars need to be um, removing the trim panels from them first, um, I don't think I'll need to do that at this stage to get most of it out. The A pillar even to get out, um, to get that out, you first need to take out this side tr uh, trim panel here and uh, before that you need to take out the side dashboard panel. So sometimes following the instructions it just directs you to another instruction so you're about f you know, four layers back before you're able to actually get to uh, the instruction on what you need to do to take this out. Um, I might well take the pillar one out because I'm not going to be able to detach it um, without taking that out um, but I'll probably leave the other ones that I don't need to do. Um, sun visors uh, need to come out so you'll probably not see that really easily. Centre panel need to come out uh, and say front and rear uh, grab handles as well. Most of them fairly straightforward. I haven't um, removed the covers on this first here just inside um, and then there's just this, a wee cover on this one and uh, a screw to take out, just a torque screw on it. Not particularly uh, difficult, just uh, time consuming to get all these pieces out um, to be able to get the, the headliner out. So the first piece here is just a wee cut out, just press in there, you can hear it unclip. Um, I think there's just a couple of further clips just further up, just levers all the way out. Um, hopefully, just do this one handed. Um, and let's see, I think that just comes away here. There's one last clip in there, uh, which just needs to come off, and that just piece will just, yeah, see, just straight forward. That's managed to come out. And that then gives access to this uh, side uh, panel, uh, which needs to be uh, released. I'll just need to have a quick look and see how I do that. Okay. So this one here just needs to be reach in at the bottom and just pull here, and it just releases this. Once it's actually pulled out, it just should just uh, pull down. So I just should pull down. Maybe I best to put the camera down and use two hands to do that. Actually, the instructions said it pulled down, but actually I just needed to um, apply a screwdriver just at the top corner here just to release that top tab. Um, I dare say if I'd pulled it a bit harder it might have just pulled off, but I think it's the safest thing to not break the plastic was just to uh, actually put the screwdriver on the side tab there. So I've already just applied the screwdriver behind this little airbag tab. Um, that just exposes the torch screw behind. Um, that needs to be... Uh, taken off so that this can, again, it should, once that screw is off, it should just be able to pull off and out. In taking out the control panel above the mirror, um, this tang has been fine, but what happened with this tang was it got caught the wrong side of the, the headliner, um, which meant they wanted to pull the other way. So I managed to get that one out, but I can see that, you know, there's cutouts there for it, but there's no cutouts at the back here. Um, for effectively the two tangs that are at the back. So at the moment what I'm stuck with is round here, same same this side. And if you can just see in there's a, there's a, like a tang going across there um, that's got stuck um, and is preventing it swivelling down 
and what, if, once it swivels down, it'll be able to all lift out. I've been able to get the wiring harness uh, disconnected, uh, but it's not helping me without getting these tangs. Uh, I'll get something done with them first, I'll allow this to swivel down so it can all come out, because uh, the whole headliner uh, needs to, uh, well, it needs to come out to uh, allow the headliner to come out. Well, with a bit of persuasion, I've managed to lever them out. I mean, we just need to heat them up gently to push them back fully into position, but at least it, it was able to come down and able to fully come out, and that'll allow me to get to the uh, two uh, retaining nuts that are there that are just holding the headlining in, in, the, in the middle here, and that'll allow that to drop. And that might actually give me better access. I could be able to remove that side of the um, both the sun visors, but getting the clips on this other side, so it's difficult. See, the, the um, outer side uh, is proving more awkward to get to the clips um, to actually release them. The, the diagrams just show what you're supposed to do, uh, but um, just feared of actually pushing it. But I think if I drop the, the inside, I might be able to see better as to what clips um, I'm trying to push uh, because I should be able to hopefully see behind the headlining. So despite what I thought earlier today, when I thought I was going to take the whole headlining out, that's what I've been working on, um, I found that you can actually get the uh, airbags, head airbags out without taking the headliner fully out. Um, what I just obviously was doing cutting around uh, the fabric, uh, which was covering these uh, clips, and then using my circlips to actually uh, take them out. Um, I've taken most of the headliner out at the back, it's a bit more straightforward at the back, um, but the problem here at the front was that I just found that there was just uh, you know, cables that were just um, getting in the way um, and I wasn't really sure how I was supposed to unclip this, I hadn't looked further at it so I'd looked again and saw could I actually get um, in and yes it is a bit awkward, uh, it takes a bit of time to line up the circle up uh, to wires to actually get onto the uh, you know holes. Sometimes I was <laughs> end up about five minutes trying to get each of them out, uh, but actually I think it's probably saved me a lot of trouble taking the headliner out. So um, once I've finished taking out, I've still got the D post uh, cover to take off, which will allow me to release the last of the um, airbag, um, and I've still got to do the passenger side, but that should be a, hopefully a repeat of what I've done on the driver's side. Um, and if that all comes out as I suspect, it should be easier to push the clips back in uh, with the headliner in the position it's in. So I'll probably just actually um, fix, certainly refix uh, the center piece here um, because there's no no need to keep keep that out. Um, so if uh, the the visors had been round the other way, then it would be worth maybe leaving one of the clips out. But I'll put put that back, and uh, at least that'll be something back together. Now, while to take, trying to take the headlining out, um, I realised that this light on this side was had a rattling bulb, which is maybe just about here. Um, and the instructions say you should use press, you know, lever these uh, three tabs, one on that end, you know, one on either side, lever these out, um, and then the the uh, light should pop out. Uh, but it was proven quite. Um, well, there's a lot more force needed, I thought, to, than I was expecting. Uh, so I actually found it easier to drop the headlining uh, down a bit, uh, and then you can actually access the tabs from the back, and it's a lot easier then to make sure that you um, lever them out uh, properly and uh, don't don't break it. Um, and I think actually for removing headlining, it probably would be better to do that. Clearly, if you've just got to replace a bulb, then you want to do it the way they say, uh, rather than take your whole headlining out. Uh, but for uh, just uh, trying to remove uh, this for this this purpose uh, it seemed to work better that way so i've uh, managed to get uh, all the trim out of the way now to allow myself to get to the end of the airbag for the head airbags um involved a few pieces having to come out you have to start at the back of the car we're going to take out this uh, lock cover panel there's two uh, nuts there that you loosen one on each side um and that just that just allows um, able to 
lift this prize this piece up that then allows this side panel to come out it just pop, it does pop off uh, just to be careful uh, with that uh, the insert in it just easily pops out uh, once you've got that then it allows you to get the piece that's obviously got the seat belts now my bit um, um, it was broken at the front here I've got another one on order um, so that came off uh, together and again uh, that then allows me to get to the end of the airbag the last part of the airbag removal was actually the uh, removing the cap nuts there's two just hiding uh, on each of the airbags both sides and then there's an electrical connection so um, it's easier to remove the cap nuts um, and then have a look at the electrical connection um, once it's a bit more accessible just to see exactly how that pulls off so I don't damage it and the technique for getting the electrical connection off is just to move the orange piece back it slides back and then that allows the uh, black piece just to slip out and that completes the head airbag removal um, thanks for watching I hope you found that useful cheers